Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode two of the complete Thor walkthrough. Uh, in episode one, we covered this panel up top. Uh, so just uh, all the basics there. In episode two here, we're going to talk about routing and what do all these little arrows mean. Uh, we're going to start on the left here and move to the right. Um, and we won't we're going to come back to uh, to a lot of stuff in here. This is just covering the routing. We're not going to get into the matrix and how you can change your routing path and all that kind of stuff. Just just going to cover what these, air point, these arrows point at and understanding what that actually means. So um, let's start all the way over here. I'm not going to talk about what it, what it does exactly. Um, but uh, be aware of your AM from oscillator 2, amplitude modulation from oscillator 2. Um, because it goes right here. It's just that. So there's a little example of what it actually does. But um, So then you also have routing from your oscillator 1 to 2 and 3. And again, not going to talk about what they do right now. Just be aware that they exist. And turning them on and off. So there you go. So that's that's there's your little arrows. Just don't forget about those guys on the on the left side. And then so your oscillators themselves. So you got one, two, or three oscillators and follow the path. Follow the path, follow the arrows. You see the little arrows there? They go into the mixer. So your friend, the mixer. And the mixer, um, there's not a whole lot to say about it, so I'm going to just cover it real quick. Um, the um, you, got, you got your balance here between your, your different oscillators. So if you are... Be aware of that this exists. Just try not to forget that it exists because it can drastically change the sound that that you're playing with. So, so let's start here. Not a huge difference between that. Now they're mixed. So this is mixing oscillators one and two. Then if I just want to, okay, now oscillator one and two are gone. Now it's a sine wave because it's, it's just coming from here. So, um, and, and then subtly. Just, just be aware that this exists and it can change the, the quality and sound of your patch dramatically. Uh, and it's one of those that's easy to forget. So it's there, there it is. All right, so let's follow the routing to the next step. Uh, up and over and up and you got one, two, three, and then you got down and an over and down, and you got one, two, three. So that's your enable buttons for your oscillators because if they're not enabled, nothing happens. Now something's happening. So, and you can, you can double down on it, it. You're not adding oscillators, you're just doubling the routing. So it just makes it louder if you just. If you have you have a really quiet patch, I guess you could you could do that, um, where you can just do double double down on one, two, and three. Um, then add add your filters, don't add your filters, whatever, and you can mix and match. So just rem don't forget you can turn off parts. You know, so um, there there we're routing in the filters now. Let's say we don't want to double route because that is that can be a different quality of sound. Let's say we want to route through to we want to route through a low pass and then we want to route through this state variable filter. So here we got we're going down and you're going into the shaper. So the shaper, you know, you can add some warmth or distortion. And we'll we'll come back to that later. Um, and either if it's off, it's just going to route through without doing anything. So then you can change the direction of this routing and go into the filter this way. Um, so it, it it can get this is this is where it can get confusing 
or at least it gets confusing to me. Um, so I've up here, I've got one and two. I've routed it, you know, down here and I've changed the direction because you can go straight to the amp or you can go down into the second filter. And here I turned it on. Uh, you can you can turn them on, you can not. So it will double up or not. Um, and then three, I don't have it coming through here, but I do have it going through my state variable. So just be aware, again, you'll hear that a lot, um, that your routing can change the quality of your patch. So, and then coming up through here and we got routing to the amp or not, turn it on, turn it off. So, so here I've completely killed my sound because everything is being routed through this filter. So now it's not. Now, filter one is routing into the amp, filter two is routing into the amp. So just here, you have a lot of possibilities of, uh, number one, ways to change your sound and get something interesting and different. Number two, ways to frustrate yourself infinitely because you don't understand why something isn't making sound. Uh, and I am not gonna lie, I have struggled. There have been, there have been times where I'm trying to do something in Thor and I've fought with this thing and I'm like, you idiot, you didn't have, you know, you had the routing turned off or you didn't have a button enabled. So before you throw your computer off a balcony, just look at your routing and say, wait, how am I routing this? And follow the arrows. The arrows are your friend. So filters mixer so we got oscillator to fill to mixer mixer to filters filters to shaper and or to amp and then amp is pretty simple um so gain i think we we know what that does makes things louder the velocity this this one i wish this was in a different place but this is where it is so if i'm hitting hard versus if i'm hitting soft then that's where the control is. I mean, it makes sense for it to be there, but for some reason it just feels out of place to me. But I want, you know, I want to get some response when I'm when I'm playing soft. I want it to be soft. When I'm playing hard, I want it to be loud. So that's where you're going to get it from. So um, here, full, very soft. Patches very quiet too. Uh, let's see. So, anyways, velocity. Yeah, that's what it does. And then pan. So this is your master pan. So there's lots of ways to pan stuff. Um, you almost don't need this pan. I mean, I I rarely use this pan knob because there's another pan knob up here, and you can pan other things internally. But it's there. You know, there's your pan. Um, and then they, everything goes to filter three. So filter three, same, same filters to choose from. Um, and once, you know, this is a whole section here. This, this is your, this whole little effects section, global, global envelope, LFO2, delay, chorus. Um, so here, without getting into using the matrix, then you're... Your, this is where your routing terminates, um, and you know these are these are oh, these are going to apply to everything. So from from there, you're done. You know, um, we'll 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 go into an advanced section later where we cover how to how to affect all this routing and what you can actually do when you get into this matrix, it's, it just gets silly. Um, the number of things that you can do and change destinations of things. So, um, that's it for this one. Um, hope that made sense to you. Went pretty fast, but, um, the next episode, we're going to start covering oscillators and what all of our, all of our friends here do all the different oscillators. So many choices, so many sounds, uh, and, um, and we'll cover, individual waves and see some wave shapes and anyways lots of fun stuff i'm getting ahead of myself uh so thanks for watching like and subscribe if uh, you and you value this content and uh i'll see you next time cheers